guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to talk about passive voice. Look at this sentence. The teacher teaches the students. In this sentence, the teacher is the subject because the teacher performs the action. That's why we call it the doer. The action here is teaches. And then students are the objects because the students receive the action. And we call the object here receiver. In English, we have subject and object pronouns. For example, I is a subject pronoun while me is an object pronoun. He is a subject pronoun while him is an object pronoun. She is a subject, and her is an object, and so on. In active sentences, subject pronouns can take the place of subjects, and object pronouns can take the place of the objects. This sentence, the teacher teaches the students, it is an active sentence because the subject comes before the action and the object. In order to change this to passive, we'll put the object first, plus the verb to be, plus a past participle, plus the word by, plus the subject. Remember, by the subject is optional in passive voice. Okay, let's change this sentence to a passive one. This sentence is in simple present tense. Let's follow the formula. The object comes first, the students, then the verb to be, in this case, are, and then the past participle of the verb, in this case, taught, and then by the subject, which is the teacher. Now, let's try a sentence in simple past tense. Do you know the answer? I bet you know it as well. Actually, the object, the past participle, and the subject remain the same. The only thing you need to change would be the form of the word to be. From are, change it to were. And now, let's try one more. The future tense. The teacher will teach the students. What is the passive voice? It's pretty easy, right? The sentence is, the students will be taught by the teacher. And now, here comes the present continuous tense. The teacher is teaching the students. Do you know the answer for this one? Great! The passive sentence is The students are being taught by the teacher. And now, the present perfect tense. The teacher has taught the students. And in passive voice, we can say The students have been taught by the teacher. And the last one, the teacher should teach the students. Do you know what tense is it? This is a modal verb. For modals in passive voice, we can say, the students should be taught by the teacher. Basically, we can use passive voice in every tense. And here are some special cases. For some certain words, for example, happen, appear, live, and die. We are not going to use these to make a passive one. For the verbs like start, begin, end, and finish, if the subject of that sentence is an activity or 
a performance, then we can use these verbs in active voice. However, if the subject of the sentence is a thing, then we can use them in passive form. Last but not least, for the verbs increase, decrease, if the subject is about prices or some data, then we can simply use them in active voice. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.